we've we've started each one of these by asking our panelists for maybe some thoughts on what they wish that they had known as a young teacher or the lessons that they learned later on that if someone had told them about our specific topic they might be of help to them and and of course this evening we're going to be talking a little bit about professionalism and ethics because it is really is in a transitional state as we're all dealing with the pandemic and, and how we be a professional in these situations so we'll go ahead and get started again with doc, dr cross if you want to get us started here sure i guess the uh if there's one thing i wish i knew it's uh that letting something go doesn't mean you don't care uh not everything is equally important now we you know we tell our students we want them to be good at everything we we, we get good at what we're doing because we have attention to detail because we care about the details because we care about everything because we don't just ignore the percussion because because everything counts but not everything in our jobs is equally worth our physical mental and especially our emotional time and energy uh, and i wish that i had learned sooner that there were some things that i could just shut the computer and go home and did not have to have power over my happiness uh, if i wasn't going to be able to fix them that's just fantastic. Thank you. I do want to say before we move on, we are going to be taking some questions in the chat this evening. So feel free, please, during either the Q&A or the, the chat area, we'll try to address them as we go along and use them to pivot topics. But also at the end, if you have any questions, we'll, we'll be answering them as we go along. Beth, what can you share with us? Sure. I'm going to be that person who shares a couple quotations with everybody tonight. And um, this is a little bit timely, but this is from Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And um, she said, quote, if you want to be a true professional, you will do something outside yourself, something to repair tears in your community, something to make life a little better for people less fortunate than you. That's what I think a meaningful life is, living not for oneself, but for one's community. And I think the most wonderful thing is that we all get to do that through music. We get to change communities, we get to change lives through music. So. Um, it's just such a joyous and wonderful thing. And even in times of COVID, and we'll talk about that more, I think a little bit later, um, we're, we are able to do that, to change lives through music. I, I will go on to say that there are sort of two other things that I believe um, are really important about being a young professional. One is that the knowledge of your subject matter matters a lot. So your musicianship is really important. And there are a lot of things that we have to deal with as teachers, but being a great musician and practicing and sharing that passion for music making with your students is really important. Play for them, sing for them, play music for them. Um, be a music geek, be a band nerd for your students. They, they need that and will appreciate that. And then the other thing that you've probably all heard, and I know all my young first year teachers, student teachers tell me, the most other most important thing is the relationships you establish with other human beings. Uh, getting along with others, putting yourself in someone else's shoes, and knowing that there are two sides to every story. I, I think that's really key to your success as a young professional. Fantastic. Dr. Franks? First, students watch everything. How you dress, how you act, what you say, how and what you eat, what time you arrive, what time you leave how you conduct yourself in and out of class. They are watching everything. And secondly, being liked by your students is overrated. Being respected is the most important trait. The like part will automatically come with respect in time. I would just add, they watch everything but your ictus. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boy, that was a little deja vu. I, I, I sounded like I was I was hearing a little Doc Johnny Long there, Earl, your, your, your teacher who has just recently passed away. So I, I know he'd be proud to hear from you tonight. Richard Crane, what can you share with us? I would like to wish I had taken Pandemic 101 when I was in college. That would have helped a lot. Uh, mine is stories a little bit different, Susan, as you know. I started my teaching career in 1956, and things were different then. And uh, I wish that I had uh, been taught more uh, about the importance and I agree with what everyone else has said and second what they have made the points they've made but I wish I had uh, seen the importance and, and worked more which I had to learn after I graduated from college about the very basic things the importance of pedagogy 
and, and the importance, especially the clarinet in the ensemble as a band director, because I was a trombone player. And I wish I had uh, had more training in that. And uh, my first job, uh, I took over in the middle of the year for a band director who was very well loved and who was killed in an auto accident. So I was a 22 year old trying to deal with all the emotional uh, problems with uh, young people, as well as trying to get them together and assemble them in an ensemble and a rehearsal. So I wish that I had had a lot of more preparation uh, for things that were un uh, not really anticipated. Uh, so, uh, but my story is a little bit different than others. 1956 was different. 